Man, diamonds sell for like a lot of rupees. I wish I had more than one of them. Oh wait, I do! I can have infinite of any item I want really easily without moving from this spot. And so can you. Would you like to know how? Hello then, fellow Hylians. Coyness aside, treat this as your warning. If you do slash use slash abuse what I'm about to share before it gets patched, you will have all of the things, but be it on your own hand if that ironically takes away some of the enjoyment for you. But of course, it is quite literally my job to tell you guys about all things Tears of the Kingdom, and this is quite a big deal. So welcome to the recently discovered item duplicating glitch. Yes, anything that you can attach to a bow, which as you well know is kind of nearly everything, you can spawn one of into your inventory over and over and over and over again. Which obviously isn't the fastest of item duplications, but it's still infinite and actually shockingly easy to pull off and basically will solve all of your rupees, powerful weapon, and essentially anything else that you could ever want worries, especially if you're in a pinch. So, that all said, how exactly does this work? Well, we'll go through it slowly, then we'll go through it at real glitch speed. Oh, yeah. You will need then at least three bows, any bows to pull this off. Step one, whip out your bow and fuse onto it the item that you wish to have one more of. Then open your inventory, drop the bow that you are currently equipped slash holding that you just fused the item onto and then equip a second bow. Then you close the menu and reopen the menu. Then you drop that second bow, and then equip your third bow. And once again, close the menu and reopen it, then you are done. You currently have two bows on the ground and an extra item in your inventory, with the caveat that you have to do it a lot faster than this. You have to ba-boom, menu close, menu open, with as a quick a pace as you can do. If you do it too slowly, you will not only not duplicate the item, you will lose the item that you've used to begin with, which is where my big tip comes in here. Save the game before you attempt this, and if you mess up with, like, your one diamond, then just load the game as opposed to losing it forever, and that will make this feel a lot more comfortable for you. So, let's have an example at real-time speed, as I do in fact attempt to duplicate diamonds. I'm gonna get out my bow, gonna fuse the diamond to it, going to open my menu, drop the bow that I'm holding that I fused to, equip a second bow, close and open real quick, then uh, drop the new bow that I'm holding and equip a third bow, close open real quick, and then close and... <laughs> Success! Lo and behold, the diamond goeth up by one. As a little bonus tip, you can tell if you have done it fast enough as when you equip your second bow, it will still visibly have the item that you have fused onto it in the preview of Link in the menus. You see how the initial bow had the diamond on the tip? Despite me dropping that, the second bow I equipped also had the diamond on the tip, so we know we're good. So of course, again, you can imagine the implications of that you can duplicate high value fuse parts, you can duplicate zone eye devices, you uh, can, well, duplicate good food, anything your heart desires. But of course, it is this point that I would like to remind you and remember a lesson from our favorite uncle. With great power comes great responsibility. So do with this what you will, I will very much be keeping my hands off it because Tears of the Kingdom is a masterpiece and I want to enjoy it the way that it was intended, but of course my, you know, existence as a content creator compels me to at least share this information because whether you hear it from me or anyone else, you are going to hear it and at the very least it is interesting that so soon and so simply to pull off the first item duping has been found for Tears of the Kingdom. In any case, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, and let me know if you too plan on using this or avoiding it. Consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a god. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your home to so make the whole world a stage
is uh, goodbye. <laughs>